Geek of Ocean's show from the Geek Sir Devote and let you know you're loved. I'm Dallas. So glad you guys get to play button today. I'm running a little bit late. Running a little bit behind. I apologize so much for running behind, guys. Everything had an update. <laughs> and I mean everything had to update, apparently. So uh, I am putting things together really quickly, guys. I apologize. This is so unprofessional. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am not as professional and effective at streaming as Francisco Ruiz. But I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying. Adio. Adio. Trying to get some music going for us. Rushmore, what's up, my friend? How you guys doing? So, like I said, I just... Trying to get in. Had, we had a, kind of a busy afternoon. Uh, had to take care of some stuff and uh, and <laughs> got back and uh, had to slow back some food. And then my ISP was being stupid. And I had to fix all that. And then oh, it was a it was an adventure, guys. It was an adventure. So let's get some music going to kind of chill things out up for the stream. Uh, Valendro's in the chat. What's up, my brother? Uh, Cell Casco's evening. Evening, my dude uh prayer time uh but our rushmore says uh prayer time but uh to but to take a big final oh my dude you got a big final coming up uh what do oh. we want here <laughs> <laughs> why does it this clip every time yep, they're working oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> that one right there ladies and gentlemen uh... <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I couldn't resist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I don't blame you. Oh. Still have to suffer through this. And Zote on top of it? Oh, my goodness. Oh my well, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I uh, hope you all enjoy the rest of your time <laughs> here. <laughs> Geek Devotions. I appreciate that dude so much. Houston's a good guy. All right. All right. <laughs> This is, so, this is what we're doing. All right. Uh, I, you sent me a small novel on Discord? Wow. I took that out, Val. Uh, <laughs> I am so behind on everything. I apologize, guys. <laughs> Let me uh, take it to the water. Mm. All right. Now that that's done, let me get stuff shared out here to the to the spaces. Uh, let's see here. Facebook.com. Yeah, we're going to do Facebook. Business. Business Facebook. All right, so uh, we had a prayer request come in. Rushmore's got a big final coming in. Let's let's pray for him real quick. Uh, right now, Lord, we just pray for our buddies of Rushmore. I pray for Kirk. I'm assuming it's Kirk, Lord, with this finals coming. Lord, I pray that you give him some peace of mind. Lord, as he prepares for this test, I pray that you help him. Lord, as he uh, gathers himself together, gathers the things he needs to for this big final. Lord, I, I, I pray, Lord, that he remembers everything that he studied. And I mean that with sincerity, that he remembers everything that he's put in. And Lord, he, he doesn't stress over what's taking place. He doesn't stress over, over the requirements there before him. Help him to walk this out in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, dude. We're going to continue praying for you, my, my dude. Dale came in and 45 months in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Dale is a legend. Really pulled it through on, but like, that's uh, pretty right stacked now, odds. It. Man, this guy's like <laughs> a hero. Look at this guy go. He's just like working through them all. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome! Whoa! Oh Shout my goodness! You need, <laughs> I wish you could name like individual guys like that. That was amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh! All wow! Right. I'm live on Twitch and the YouTube's. All right, let's see here. Let me get the YouTube link. Dun, 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 dun. Geekdevotions.com. So for those who are like, man, what is this novel that uh, uh, Valindra said? And so by I having that assume. character, it Speaking will keep which... all of your skeletons healed so they don't <laughs> die and go away. They'll keep your oh, skeletons wait. alive to... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So I think... Oh, you Timmy. Go. How's Timmy yeah. doing, Val? And you will, How's he been? You will use them throughout the, the rest of the game. You will never change them. You will keep okay. a prayer, prayer or a mercenary. There we go. The entire time. All right. <coughs> so, and you are a legend, Dale. You absolutely are. But yeah, so 
for questions about what Valve was saying, um, what has happened is we have uh, the um, Say Words Dallas. Next month, we have our annual event here at Geek Devotions of um, Anime April. And with that, uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what will be a good anime-based video game to play um, for next month. And But it needs to be not be terribly long, but something interesting, trying to keep it family-friendly. Uh, not like just like it's for little kids, but something generally uh, that everyone can play or watch. Um, oh, I'm live on Twitch and YouTube. So, bum, bum, bum. All right, share that. All right, there we go. And now I need to open my Discord and drop in the Discord. So I'm assuming that Val has sent me a a whole dissertation on the greatest anime-based video games that also don't Every take forever to play. Every disciple knows that he must focus at all <laughs> times, lest he face the same fate. This guy. <laughs> so Grandpa got a paddled a ton, a ton of times. Yes. That's, that's exactly his legend. That. You are worried for your grandfather, yes? Do not be. Lord Robert overcame every challenge set for him by the Grand Master and emerge stronger every time. All right, there we go. Before I think we got everything we we'll Put this over here. Anime April, my dude. Not Annie April. That just sounded weird. I, I didn't roll off tongues. Off the tongue very well. Hold on. Oh, let's see here. Shift my camera a little bit. That was another thing I had to fix. My camera was off angle. <laughs> oh, it was the start of the stream, my friends. But we're here to go. We are ready to rock and roll here, all right? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. We are going to be, uh, that would be entirely too long. You're right, uh, my dude. So we are going to be jumping into uh, several things. Uh, so we're, uh, we, we finished um, the, uh, say words to us. We finished first Samuel. That's the last we're talking about. We're like, well, what do you want to do? I was like, tell you what, let's, let's jump back to the new Testament and we're going to do Jude. And so, um, we're going to kind of talk through some stuff real quick. And so today's, uh, Bible study portion of things is actually going to be intro to Jude. And I'm actually using notes that I had typed up for, uh, my intro to Jude that I did for the podcast that I produced from a church called Midweek Move, which is a, uh, the Midweek Move is a line by line, verse by verse study, um, uh, Bible study. A podcast that my church uh, produces and uh i i do a lot of lay work getting that stuff together and so we're actually going to be doing that uh today we're actually going to be going through my my show notes from that and if you guys want like a head start on what we're going to be talking about go check out the midweek move on youtube and check out that that playlist of jude uh it's it's built to be a resource that that whole youtube channel midweek move for people to to jump in and say the word of god and and grow uh, together and ask questions if they have questions they can reach out to us uh, at the church and everything like that and so let's let's jump into it rushmore is on the purple side my dude what's up my man welcome to the party so uh like i said we're gonna be in jude um and i'm trying to figure out what's the best way to do this because uh, i don't want to put my notes up on the screen necessarily but i don't have a, a nifty i don't have a nifty graphic for jude i don't have a nifty little like like, this is the book of Jude here, guys. So we're just going to kind of talk through this together like this. Let's see if I can kind of structure my, my screen so I can see you guys chatting with me and my notes at the same time. Yes. Now we have it. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get into it. Now, whenever we, we start, whenever we're looking at the scriptures, there's these, these, these questions we have to ask ourselves every single time. And those questions are, they're really simple. We got to ask ourselves, what's the genre? What, like, like, is this a poetry? Is this a narrative? Is this a, a, a letter? Like what's taking place? These are things that we have to ask ourselves. And then we ask ourselves, who's right? Who's speaking? Who's the author and who's speaking? Cause that, those are different sometimes. Sometimes the author is one person, but who's speaking in the passage is another one. So a great example, Luke, the, uh, Luke wrote the book of Luke. He wrote the book of Acts. But as you read the passages, he's not speaking necessarily, but he's recording what is spoken by different people. So we need to figure out who's who wrote it, 
who's speaking, who was it written to, because these were all written to, to people, and why was it written? Like, what's the situation? And from there, we can make practical applications about certain things. And so that's what we're doing. Uh, we're going to talk about kind of like the, the background on the book of Jude. Uh, Dale says, Jude, say what? <laughs> so let's jump into it, guys. Book of Jude. Who wrote Jude? Now, this is an interesting thing. Jude uh, was a form, the, the term Jude, or the word Jude is a form of Judas or Judah, uh, is uh, only deter- identified as the brother of James. Now, a lot of scholars uh, in church history, turn my music down just a little bit more, uh, have narrowed this James down to James the Just, the leader of the Jerusalem church, the half-brother of Jesus. You guys catch that? Jude is the half is the brother of James the Just, the half-brother of, J- of Jesus, which would make Jude Jesus' half-brother also. Uh, Dells in the chat, it says, how do you, uh, things that happened to them yesterday help us today? Man, that's a great question. So for us to understand, again, things are written to people. There's context, right? So we need to understand the context of a letter written to somebody. And if we understand why it was said, then we can appropriately apply it to our lives today, Dale. So if, great example that I give to uh, people when I, when I teach classes on biblical literacy and how to read the Bible. I get this, and this is a grade A example. It's not even mine. It was given to me uh, by a mentor of mine, and it's simply this. Uh, let's say you have two young men, and two young teenage boys, and um, you go to their house, and you find two handwritten letters, and one letter says, when you get home, immediately sit down. Don't go play video games. Don't go play with a dog. Sit down, pull out your schoolwork, and get your schoolwork done immediately. No other options. Get it done. But then you see another note that says, hey, as soon as you get home, take a moment. Go and walk the dog. You know, put your stuff away. Get a snack. Relax for for about 20 minutes. And then go do your homework. And you're looking at these two notes. You're like, these are opposite devices. What's taking place, Bo? Then we ask ourselves about the context. Who are these being written to and why? And what you would discover in this scenario is that one letter was written to one brother who was failing in school because he was being lazy, he wasn't doing schoolwork, he was just lackadaisical about things. And so the letter that was saying, hey, as soon as you get home, get your schoolwork done, was written to him. Whereas the other letter was written to a young man who... Man, he's stressed out. He has anxiety and he's like sick to his stomach because he's so stressed out from school and he wants to do right. He wants to do all the right things. So the letter to him says, hey, as soon as you get home, take it easy. Relax. Breathe slow. And then go do your schoolwork. Two pieces of advice given for two separate situations, but found in the same place. We have to understand the context so we can make practical applications. So with those things, we go, okay, if I'm being lazy, I've been I've been being dumb, well then obviously, yes, I need to take this first advice, get home, get to work. If I'm stressed out, I'm anxious, I don't know what I'm doing with my schoolwork, I need to take it easy. Take a moment to breathe, relax and chill. This is where the conversation about context becomes important with our Bible study, Dale, so we can understand that when we read something in the passage, if we understand the context of what's going on, we know what it means to the original audience, then we can make appropriate applications to our lives today. And hopefully that answers your question. Pound and Pirates in the chat. What's going on, brother? So as like I said, we're in Jude. Now Jude, again, they, they've kind of narrowed it down that he is Jude, the brother of James the Just, the leader of Jerusalem, the half-brother of Jesus. The Christ. <laughs> now, we know from the Gospels that none of Jesus' brothers believed that he was the Messiah until after his resurrection. Some have pointed out that this may ha- uh, be why Jude presents himself with the humble statement of a servant of Jesus Christ. He's honoring Jesus, humbled by the fact that he uh, missed the opportunity to serve him in the earthly days and uh uh, is but in, and is passionate about his service to him now. So this is Jude or Judah or Judas. Uh, kind of depends on 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 what's going on here. Uh, 
and he is the half brother of Jesus. So the question becomes, when was this written? Now, pinpointing the exact time frame is difficult as to when it was written due to how short the letter is. There's not a lot of like contextual clues inside to go, okay, yeah, this is definitely here. Scholars have pointed out that uh, Peter may have referenced uh, this uh, this particular letter in Second Peter, and if this is the case, it would be uh, it would have I'm sorry, it would had have had to be before 65 A.D. And this would suggest, uh, this would give its writing somewhere between 60 and 65 AD for when Jude was written. So the question is, who was it written to and why? We discover in the text of Jude uh, that Jude originally planned on writing a very different kind of letter. Like he sat down at his table and he was like, I'm going to write this. And all of a sudden there's something that took place. And he's like, no, no, no. I, I have to write something else. There's something else that's more pressing that I have to put out. And that is what got circulated, which is what we call the book of Jude. But something alarming, again, it came up and it led to this letter. It appears that it was a series of false teachers, likely early Gnostics, uh, were uh, teaching some very dangerous heresy. Now, Gnosticism, this is a very early heresy that, to be perfectly honest, um, it's strangely still around. Like I I've actually met and talked to modern day Gnostics and it's really weird. Um, uh, Gnosticism has this weird view on how everything fleshly and earthly is evil and everything in the spirit is good. Therefore, uh, don't worry about what happens in the flesh kind of thing. And they believe again, there, and it's not like, we say Gnosticism, but it's not like this monolithic belief. There's a lot of things that come together that form an, a, an, a blob that we call Gnosticism. A lot of them, it's a, a there's a belief of in the Old Testament, the Old Testament Yahweh was actually a demonic evil being. And in the New Testament, God, Jesus, that's the good stuff. And so where you see wrath in the Old Testament, that's evil. That's the bad God, not the real God the loving God of the New Testament. And so there's a lot of weird things that take place there. And in, so what Jude is a, probably addressing is some early forms of Gnosticism that were creeping into the church. Uh, Vito Fumi is in the chat. What's going on, man? Going on, man? He says, uh, I think it's epic that you are sharing the faith and speak geek. Well, pff, man, that's, you know, that's kind of what we do here, bro. And it's, it's, it's one part of the passion to go, we don't have to be weird about our faith. We can naturally share and talk about geek culture and our faith at the same time. It's just an outgrowth of things. Uh, he goes, thank you for so much for your contribution to the Lord. Uh, and may he bless you and pursue uh, him by teaching. Oh, man, I appreciate that. <laughs> He's an epic geek, says Dale. <laughs> Anyways, so... This false teaching boiled down to the idea that specifically that he's dealing with. Because again, Gnosticism, it's not a monolithic thing. There's a lot of things going on to it. But specifically in the letter of Jude, what's being taken place here is that uh, he's boiled down to the idea that um, because salvation was all about the Spirit and Jesus' grace was so great, believers could do whatever they wanted without fear of being judged by God. Like, get that in your head. Because God's grace is so great, we can do whatever we want and not worry about God's judgment. That's what the, the heresy that was being uh, uh, taught in this early time frame. This teaching led many uh, led to many disregarding the moral teachings of the scriptures and embracing sinful sensuality and greed. Uh, Valendro in the chat says, I have heard of Gnosticism, but that is the first I have heard about the early demon god portion. Interesting. It, it really is kind of a weird thing. Uh, in fact, some of the Gnostic beliefs, modern Gnosticism, believe that the Canaanite gods were actually, the Canaanite god was the real god, and that's why Yahweh was so anti the Canaanite god. Um, it's, yeah, it's... Oh. It, it's it's a mind trip working through it, man, with some with that individual. A couple of individuals I've met going through there. But anyway, so this is the heresy that, that he's dealing with. That you can do whatever you want to. It doesn't matter. Because in the flesh, it doesn't matter. It's all about the spiritual things. 
So over the next couple of weeks, when Celeste and I sit down and talk about Jude with you guys, um, in this book, we're going to see three main things. One, we're going to see a warning against false teachers using examples of God's judgment from the past. Like that's what Jude's going to be doing. He's going to be like, hey, look at how God judged things in the past. Now, I'm pointing this out. Remember how I said there's not a monolithic idea of Gnosticism. It's 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 an amoebus mob. This grouping of people, they still there seemed to be this understanding that there was an Old Testament. God was God in the Old Testament still. The second thing is we're going to find a description of false teachers in the coming judgment that they face. So he's going to be like, not only are they going to, are they, like, he's like, hey, this is what these false teachers are teaching. This is what they look like. And this is the crispy critter they're going to turn into. I'm saying that sarcastically joking. I probably shouldn't say it that way, but they're going to get judged for that. And the third thing is Jude's going to present a challenge to the believers um, that um, on how to walk this out. And that's, again, that's what we're going to be talking about in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Paladin says, it's not as weird as we uh, different differentiate between God and Old Testament, New Testament. It's not as weird as we. Okay, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to pin down what you're saying, Paladin. Are you saying that uh, the way that some people today differentiate between Old Testament, how God was in the Old Testament and the New Testament? Or are you saying... I'm very, I don't know. For some reason, the sentence isn't reading in my head. <laughs> help me, uh, uh, Paladin. You're my only help. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Let me uh, send a message to Celeste real quick. So, Celeste, you guys be praying. She's actually uh, um, in Boja right now with her. Uh, ba -ba 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 that's weird. <laughs> She's uh, with her dad right now, uh, who uh, had a, a bit of an emergency last night. And that's why we weren't able to stream last night. And so uh, he's good. He's good right now. She's just hanging out with him right now uh, while I get some stuff done. So I'm sending her a message real quick. Boom. Sent out. Probably because a lot of people view God goes from judge to Barney. Ah, I see what you're saying now. I understand you're, you're, you're not wrong. A lot of people do have this weird dichotomy of view of God as if he's not the same God as in the old Testament. And it's, it's, uh, how do I put this? I'm not surprised. Uh, and I think there's this ebb and flow through society. Uh, there was a season where people, that like that was just the prevailing thought was that God is this raffle hateful God, even in the New Testament, that like today. And then uh there was a pendulum swing, and I think people got a little more biblical, but then they went too far, and then some people were like, No, man, Jesus was a hippie, it was cool, you know. And then so we we experienced another pendulum swing, and it's kind of this back and forth that takes place. And again, that's where we gotta find this middle ground where uh, instead of looking at God as being just evil and wrathful in the Old Testament, which he did have that, but he was also dealing with a larger span of time. And this is a thing. This is a thing, pal. Let me ask your thoughts on this, man. I think that part of the reason why people have this view is because they focus so much on uh, the number of times God had to cast judgment on his people because they were disobedient time after time. And it seems excessive, but then you have to keep in mind the thousands of years that that took place in. <laughs> Whereas the New Testament is only, realistically, if you cut out the birth of Jesus, 60 years <laughs> of, of history, and, and you're following Jesus saying, hey, look, you know this is how things are going to be. And so I think that's part of the reason why uh, it's that way. Um, there is a biblical Jesus. And that biblical Jesus is king. And he's a loving king. He's a gracious king. He's a king who, who wants to see you uh, bettered and grow and be, be made whole and healed from all your pains and wounds. Yes, but he is a just king. He will judge sin. He will do things. Um, and we have to keep that in mind. Um. I was explaining it to a friend of mine once and I said, look, you know, growing up as a child, um, 
you had a father that you loved. And when your father got mad because you did something wrong, you were scared. They were like, oh gosh, dad's mad at me, right? But then there was moments where your father, because he was a good dad, he came in, he's like, all right, this, this was wrong, you know? He punished him appropriately, corrected him, um, disciplined him. I want to say it was discipline. Let's use that word. And, but it was done in a way that he let him know, I still love you. Like there's still discipline. There's still growth that needs to take place. But he never thought that his dad hated him. He never thought his dad was uh, despised him and was just looking to get after him. I have known people who have had terrible parents who were like that. But in this case, this was a decent situation. And I said, this is how God is. God has to handle things. He's just. Um, but it doesn't mean he's happy about it. He's like sitting up and going, can't wait to smoke some people today. Like, that's not God. He's not happy that he has to do that. But because he is just, he must. But that's where the grace comes in. That's where Jesus comes in. If we submit our lives to Jesus, we submit our lives to, to, to the cross, to the sacrifice that does take place, then we can walk in grace and grow and learn. It's not just a, about a, a mind shift change of, of behavior. It's not behavioral modification, but it's a heart change on the inside. It says, I want to do things in a way that is pleasing to the Father. And that's a back and forth. Man, we have to grow in that. Some people, it's quick, easy, boop, they're good to go. They're like a, they're like a jet ski. They're just poof, out of the way. Some people, they're, they're like a cruise ship, and it takes a, a long turn, a long turn. And through that process, they see things, and they have to go, God still loves me. He's correcting though, me because he loves me. He wants to become what I need to be. Beautiful me because are you going to play an anime-based video game tonight? I don't know. No, actually, we're probably going to be playing um, Beautiful Me, um, Mar uh, Luigi's Mansion, possibly. Maybe, maybe some Dragon Ball. I don't know. Uh, we're working on it. So, Anime April starts next month. And so, that's what we're... we're, we're we, I need to pin down what we're going to do for that, my dude. Pound and Pirate says, uh, when God gave the Ten Commandments, he also gave a way of redemption, the tabernacle. Word. Dell uh, says, I guess he could have just shook his, uh, his earth like an etch -a sketch going redo. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Uh, he thought about it. It's his paladin. Yeah, Mikey's in the chat. What's up, man? Hey, dude, you just missed the uh, conversation about the scriptures, man. We did an intro to the book of Jude. Join us next week uh, at 7 when we start actually reading the passage. I'm glad to have you here, Mikey. How you doing, man? Mikey, I got a message. I just saw it a bit ago. Apparently, your mom called me uh, to check up on Celeste and I because there was a storm in our area. We're good to go. Appreciate the love. Um, so, but yeah, thanks for that. Oh, man, I forgot to change something on my settings here. I need you to work for me. I need my camera controls. I'm telling you guys, we had so much happening right before stream. <laughs> My SP was being dumb. <laughs> Everything was going wild. All right, there's our speakers. Elgato Control Center. What? NVIDIA. Broadcast. Where's my broadcast app? There we go. Camera controls. Let's go. Three, two, one. Huzzah. Took a second, but we're here now. Uh, Nerdy Disciple says, Marvel Studios reboot the MCU the fifth time. <laughs> they haven't rebooted the universe in, in, in Marvel Studios. Uh, God, I only need one. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh. Cellcast goes. So out of curiosity, uh, Geek Devotions, have you watched? I have not had a chance to sit down to watch X-Men 97. Yet. I want to. I just have it. My guy, we've just been going, going, going. You know, I went out of town last week. Um, I went down to Alexandria um, for a banquet. So uh, if you missed the news, ladies and gentlemen, I am uh, getting ordained within the fellowship that I'm part of. Um, 
And so I'm getting ordained next month, actually. And um, so they had a banquet for us. Uh, I didn't know it was a banquet. <laughs> I thought it was something else. But no, it's a banquet, which is cool. I appreciate it. I dig it. Uh, but I had a banquet in Alec. And so we had a drive to Alec, actually Woodworth. And then uh, afterwards, uh, Celeste and I had to make our way back up here uh, for a homeschool convention, which was really cool. It was neat to check out this convention for homeschoolers and homeschool families and just connect with people and love on folks and some cool stuff happened there. And then uh, we just, I need to stop for a second. Like I've been trying to play uh, Street Fighter for the last like week. I just haven't had time to. We're not doing it tonight. <laughs> uh, South Cast goes, as far as uh, I can tell, y'all have been busy since Christmas. I mean... I had a week off in February uh, where I was on vacation with my bride and we watched a bunch of Jackie Chan movies and that was a lot of fun. Uh, Paladin goes, are you and Celeste both getting ordained next month? or we'll just or we'll, So it's just going to be me this time. Celeste, so the way my, the fellowship works that I'm part of is we're, we're very, very big about making sure that you're, you're educated. We don't want to just kick people through a system. We want to make sure that you're you're trained properly, that you've been discipled properly, and you have certain fundamental education requirements done. So we have three layers, levels of, of credentialing in our fellowship. Uh, certified, licensed, and then um, or, ordained. And I'm licensed. I've been licensed since 2009. 2009 I've been licensed. Uh, and, um, because of the college I went to, I, I have had all the education requirements. That was it. I, I'll, I could have been ordained the following year, but I did not for certain reasons. I held off for very specific reasons. And, um, I just been feeling this, this need to go ahead and get it done to do the process completely <clears throat> over the last couple of years. And last year, it really solidified to me, um, the, um, I'll tell that story in a minute. But anyways, uh, so, but with Celeste, the, she started the Louisiana School of Ministry, which is one of the programs we have uh, within our fellowship here. And um, so she, they took a look at her classes from the Bible college she went to already. And uh, they were able to knock off some of the, the classes already. So she only actually has six classes. The problem is the classes are only once a month. Uh, and so, um, yeah, so she can't just power through it all. And so... Um, I think she has class next month and what that requires, I think it's a zoom class where uh, the class will be over zoom, but all month long, she's reading a book. She's doing study guides. She's doing stuff on her own. And then there's a one day class that you do, uh, at also. And, uh, but I think the following month she actually has to drive down Alec for like a two day class actually. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> Uh, street, uh, Paladin, not Paladin. Nerdy says, no Street Fighter. Sad Hadouken noises. <laughs> Dell says, did, uh, we get through all the Bible study? I hope we didn't throw you. No, no, that was it. That was all we were doing today, Dell. Uh, was that, was that just the intro? And, um, again, we're gonna, we're gonna hit hard, hard and fast next week. Um, uh, with chapter one. I like doing the intros and being just, that's sitting on it for a minute, just chilling. Uh, I think it's good for us to kind of have that kind of cortex. And I'd like to invite you guys, um, take some time to read Jude on your own uh, this week. Like, listen to it. And and if you have the audio Bible or if you got the uh, the uh, the Bible app, that's pretty cool because some of those translations will read to you. And some of them are pretty cool, actually, the way they read it to you. But I want to encourage you guys to kind of dive into it yourself uh, before next week. All right, let's see here. I want to switch over. So, Paladin says, I've had a few of those power classes, uh, although mine were for seven days. That's cool. So, but were you like, did they give you like, hey, here's the book you're going to be studying for the whole whole month? And uh, and you did that and did a study guide and then you had that? Or was it like just like one week got everything? Paladin Pryor, what's going on? How are you doing today? Welcome to the party. You missed the, the discussion on June on the front end, but how you been, my friend? We got two paladins in the house. Somebody needs to get in here and balance out the uh, the party here. <laughs> I was here. 
I need to switch the server. You know what? I don't know if I changed out my audio signal or not. Let's see. Make sure we, the, the audio signal is good. Tyler Price says, I'm great. I'm glad to hear that, friend. What's going on? What you been up to? How your people's all being? All right, there we go. All right, we should be good to go. I should be getting audio through my headset rather than... I'm not hearing anything. That's disturbing. What's here? Um... Why am I not hearing anything from uh, OBS? Let's see here. Maybe it's because I'm not on the page. Let's see if that changes anything. Okay, yeah, now I'm hearing stuff. Let's go. Oh, uh, see here. Uh, scrolling back up to read the chat. Cellcast goes. Uh, it's getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. <laughs> So guys, winks, pounding goes, uh, here's uh, the several books to read before class. Gotcha, gotcha. Valindra says, I'm a fey pack warlock. Does that help or a champion fighter? Uh, that works. That helps bounce up the party. <laughs> That'll work, pal. <laughs> Paladin says, uh, Paladin Prior. I got to like specify prior, uh, Pirate and Prior now. Uh, finally reinstalled Twitch. So yay. Hopefully <laughs> I'll be active here. Cool. Glad to have you back, sis. Glad to have you back on board. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, so here's the deal. I'm working through some stuff. I really liked this game, but this game is so hard to play on stream because they're giving you instructions in Japanese while you're fighting. And it's hard for me to focus on that. Read the, the subtitles. And talk with you guys at the same time. I need to put out an English patch for this. I need it desperately because I really enjoy this game. And I think it'll be fun to play on stream. <sighs> so uh, that's one anime game. I got this one, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. But the thing is, like, I don't know if you guys really enjoy me playing fighter games. Uh, so that's the thing. I got to work out for next month. Uh, for context, for those who are new to the chat conversation, next month is Anime April. All of our stuff is going to be based on anime. And so I'm trying to figure out what game to play during these streams next month. Um, bum, 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 bum. Da and I don't want it like I would love to play Dragon Quest, but it's so long. And so I'm trying to play something that's like just a thousand years long. JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. That's fun, but it's also a fighting game. So I'm not sure if you guys are going to dig that. Um, I don't count Mega Man as an anime based game. I just don't. I'm sorry, guys. Um, bum, 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 bum. I could play Ace Attorney. That's an option. I don't know. What are you guys thoughts on that? We're going to fire up Luigi's Mansion here in just a second. Uh, Nerd Psycho is Dallas talking about his formal training. Me, wild man armed with uh, nothing but the power of God and... <laughs> I mean, there's something to, to zeal. But for me, going to college and getting formal training, it was necessary because I needed the discipline to help me go walk through things, to understand the scriptures, to to really dive in and to, to grow. I needed that personally. Uh, there's some people that I don't think they can handle. Uh, to be honest, I just don't think they could handle going to a Bible school, a Bible college of some sort. Um, but I do think everyone needs some sort of training. They need people to walk them through. This is There is legitimately an issue right now, I think, in, uh, in the church as a whole with pastors who... They're not trained in next to Jesus, which is where you pull the meaning out of the passage, not put your own meaning into the passage. But not just that, but like. Just basic training about what we believe as, as Christians, just basic training of the faith. And um, there has got to be that there has to be an accountability for folks. Uh, nerd stuff is, and of course, the ad for Taco Bell. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Taco Bell ad. I love it. So Cass goes, wow, you actually said Zay instead of Zed. Uh, there was a Mega Man. There was, but it, but the anime was based on the game, not vice versa. Dale says, I play fighter games every day. It's called Shreveport Traffic. No, sir. No, Dale. That's not a fighting game. That's Frogger, sir. That's all that is. 
Oh, Del goes, uh, don't you have something on the vein of Batman that might fit? That, not that it's anime. Not that it's anime. All right, so let's uh, fire this up, guys. I've been playing this. So let's got this. We got the uh, uh, the some sort of special edition of it that uh, allows us to do two-player, uh, which when she's here, we can do that. Oh, man. Water is good, guys. Pryor says, for real, though, Shreveport be crazy. I had uh, that hit and run last month uh, uh, from our streams. Oh, wait, rewind. Uh, last month and got myself a dash cam. I don't blame you, sis. I really don't. All right, so firing up Luigi's Mansion. Mansion. Oh, okay. New features. You can now play music from the game in the gallery. A 20-foot mode has been added. Our 24 mode has been added uh, to scare uh, Scraper. I wonder if that's like a, like what they did in Splatoon, where it's like a roguelike light. Uh, how did you guys like me playing Splatoon, the roguelite? How did you guys like that, that stream? Uh, also, there are new rare ghosts waiting to be captured in Scare Scraper. You can now enter the Scream Park. Okay, cool. Cool. Downloadable content. I'll check that out later. Yes. I've only played this offline, so this is fascinating. Uh, let's see here. Nerds Apple says to Dell, LOL, not going to lie. A GTA based on a city like New Orleans or Shreveport would be epic. It could be. I just want to put this out here, Mikey. Don't do not have the misconception that New Orleans is Shreveport. Um, uh, in Shreveport, we have some laws. And uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, <laughs> Pat Pryor says also be therapeutic. <laughs> Pryor says I'm waiting for Batman Ninja to be covered. Oh, like when you say Batman Ninja to be covered, you talk about for a review or are you talking about for a devotion? I feel like I've done that. No, I did a, I did a interview with, uh, on uh, victims and villains talking about uh, Batman Ninja, and I, I had I had different different opinions than the, the co-host. Val says they had one more or less Mafia Three. Check it out. Uh, really interesting. All right, so in the story here, this is Luigi Mansions Three. Uh, Luigi and the gang has been invited to this mysterious tower, uh, hotel, and it looks nice and everything like that. And all of a sudden, nighttime, it all goes to crap. And it turns out it was a trick. It's a trap. And they, uh, <laughs> they've all been captured. And King Boo is like out to get Luigi and everybody. And so, uh, Luigi's trying to figure out life and save everybody, basically. Nerd Zappa says to prior, uh, PlayStation's over pistols, huh? <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? All right, let's go. Let's jump into this, ladies and gentlemen. Pirate says, review, especially since the story changes. Uh, uh, some, uh, Sun versus Dub. Hmm. You know what, Paladin? I'm going to do that, man. I'm going to do a review of it, and I'll do both English and Japanese. Bellando says, Mafia 3 had a fictional version of New Orleans with a different name, and it was the Outlying Swamps 2. Interesting. Yeah, King Boo. It's like the big, big boo uh, in the games. Valen says, you can literally get chased down by Crocs. Are you for reals? That's terrible. All right. So, all right. So what we need to do. Can I pull that off? Yeah. All right. Anything in here? I got something. I got some jewels. That's exciting. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Get some gold. I'm not sure what like the gold does for me yet. I've not had that. All right, I gotta remember the controls. Is that? Wow! All right, we're good. We're good. Okay, so we need to go up to the first level. Here. All right, let's go up here. Uh, Dell says Batman Gotham Knight had a cool anime segment. It did. I enjoyed it. What are you? What are you barking at me for, dog? You won't. What you got, dog? Can you, can you talk to me, dog? All right. 
We, we gotta work on these controls here. Then you go back in here? Wow. Oh, it oh. didn't save after I knew with this whole Ooh. thing. That makes sense. Wow. Up says, as a fan of the Mafia franchise, I think Mafia 4 should take place in 1980s Miami. Uh, that is, if it gets uh, ever gets made interesting. I never played any of the Mafia games. Like, what's like what? What is the draw of them? Is it something that I would legitimately enjoy? Uh, Egad, hee <laughs> hee Welcome to my lab. This is another my brilliant invention, a portable laboratory. It is sturdy, safe, and air conditioned. I always knew I needed one day. Good thing I brought it along with me, right? Huh? Luigi's obviously dumb fat, but it's, it's disgusting. Hmm. You want to know what I'm doing in the hotel? It's a bit of a long story, but it's a, in short, I was tricked. I got an interview with, from someone uh, claiming uh, claiming to own this hotel. They said they had a precious collection of ghosts gathered from around the world. No self-respecting ghost researcher would pass up on such an appealing offer, obviously. I accepted the invitation, but when I arrived, the invitation was a room. They captured me on top of my precious ghost collection. Oh, they, that includes all those ghosts you'd worked so hard to catch for me before. I'm not sure why I went into that accent just now. <laughs> Nerd Disciple says, uh, word to the wise, the Paisanos um, uh, in in your will, uh, in you will love it, but they are quite violent. Proceed with caution. Noted. Bellinger says, there are a few Batman anime and Suicide Squad Isekai anime coming. I saw that. I'm, inter- I'm curious about the Suicide Squad Isekai uh, coming out later this year, but particularly Ninja Batman was only was, uh, particularly Ninja Batman, was really good. Batman and Joker uh, get time shifted to Field Japan. I, I thought so, too. I enjoyed it. The, re- the other people that I was reviewing it with, not so much. And uh, I I don't know if it's just because they weren't real, like, and I, I'm not to sound like they weren't real fans, but they legitimately, they just weren't anime fans. And so a lot of things that I caught that they didn't. So I'm wondering, I don't know. Dang it, pirate. I'm going to do this now. I'm, I'm going... I'm going to get it done, pirates. I'm going to make a Batman Ninja review. Um, yeah, that's going to have to happen. Somebody hold me accountable to that. I got to find a copy of it. I'm not going to watch it on Max, but does Max have it in Japanese also? Or is it only in English? <laughs> Bowden says you went uh, Italian Scottish, right? <laughs> uh, still working in the labor- laboratory. All right. Uh, Even uh, King Boo. Losing them really got under my skin. It is my favorite. I don't know why I'm doing this. Stop it, that was too right part. Uh, that would it would be fun. What? What? I try to do that. I try to do like the mad stuff. What? They released King Boo. Look, the Hoto and owner. What was she done? Luigi, you're only you're our only hope against all odds, without any hesitation at any cost. Get my ghost collection back. And speaking of ghost collections, why don't you give me all the ghosts you've captured so far? Does that work? Is that a good accent for you guys? Loading. Loading. <laughs> He's got a vacuum cleaner for a flashlight, guys. <laughs> all right. Keep on catching those ghosts. Oh, and be sure to come back to the lab. I'll set up the gallery so you can view the ghosts that you've captured. I'm trying to wow. channel the dude uh, from um, How I Stopped Warring and Learned to Love the Bomb. Hmm. What with that? Look, Luigi. Am I forgetting something important? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot about your, fr- your friends and family. Completely and totally forgot. Regardless, to find ghosts, your friends, you'll need to explore the hotel to help you out. I'll give you one of my greatest inventions yet. <laughs> Come back. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the virtual boo. <laughs> Oh, 
OG gamers know what this is. Ladies and gentlemen, the Virtual Boo VB for short. That's that Virtual Boy. <laughs> That's that Virtual Boy, ladies and gentlemen. It kill your eyes. You're dead. <laughs> you put your eye sockets in there. You're like, after five minutes of playing that VR Mario Tennis, Lord help us, please. <laughs> This man try to kill you. No wonder he's wearing those glasses. That's why he's got those glasses. He been playing that virtual boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good golly. Oh, come back to the chat. Dell says, great Dexter after 30 years. Dell still still working in the laboratory. How the pirate says, oh, I read that. Dell says, see to me, he is a 85 year old infant. I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dale says, in the 88 years of geek devotions, have you revisited a past devotion? I can't remember. Actually, Dale, uh, for the first time ever, we did that uh, the week before last. <laughs> the first time ever, we did that the week before last. And even then, it was tweaked a bit. It was our devotion on uh, overcoming giants and using Dragon Ball Z as the the thing. And if you're a patron, uh, you got access to a bonus episode also there. So yeah. Dale says, Old Man Dexter Laboratory. Pirate says, wow, a blast from the past. And <laughs> can you only see red in it? <laughs> Does it? Is it a view master? No, nah, man, that's that virtual boy. Uh, nerdy stuff goes, ah, the VB, the Nintendo's biggest blunder until the GameCube. GameCube was not a blunder. What you talking about, Nerdy Disciple? That sucker was lit. The GameCube was an awesome piece of machinery that was ahead of its time. And it did, there were some amazing games. Smash Bros? What? Super Metro, or Metroid Prime? What? Amazing games. Don't be dissing on no ga on uh, my uh, Nintendo GameCube, man. That was awesome. Val says, boy, do I remember this. <laughs> That's one of my favorite references in this game. <laughs> Cellcast goes, despite the virtual boy, this isn't as crazy as last week's stream. This is true. This is not as crazy as last week's stream. I'm not sure what I could do to top last week's game stream. Uh, Val says, GameCube is legend. I still have my, my dude. Rock that out, man. Uh, Nerd Sex was too bad nobody bought it. Joke, I was a GameCube kid too. I don't, I, all my friends had it now that I think about it. All my, all my friends were rich though, but they all had it. <laughs> Pirate says, uh, have to, have to head. Take it easy, Pirate. I love you, bro. Uh -huh. Got it. We're gonna burn out the ghost. <laughs> It's a state-of-the-art virtual reality device fitted with a fancy red screen. Yeah, just to burn their eyes out. Really cutting-edge stuff. The red is all the rage, you know. Just wait until I finish marking materials on this. It will fly off the shelves. <laughs> you can use the VB to communicate with me at any time. Now, maybe... We can jest out the communication system later. Press plus to look into the VB and display your current objective for uh, uh, for you to uh, objective for you too. It's quite useful. Oh, and I have one more thing to give you. The first thing you need to do to install is install this in the elevator tracker outside of the elevator for me, okay? I'm going back to the Italian accent. Why am I doing that? As for what it is, I tell you later. Go on and get. I'm going that French accent now. Get it. Some, I just need to do read the French guys. I apologize. Terrible accent. Head for the elevator. I'm counting on you, Luigi. All right. So we got some stuff. Talk to Gad. Guide and settings. Okay. There's a gallery. Ghost. We have a goob. And that's it. I just have, I have, I have a couple goobs. I got gems. I got that gem. Special content. Albums. 
new. Right, I'm afraid to play music because I'm afraid I'm going to get copyrighted like we did a couple weeks ago. Uh, Nerdy's Apple says to Cellcast, pretty sure the stream was a mix of Fever Dream Wild. <laughs> that was a wild game, guys. That really was. And I appreciate you guys hanging in. Uh, Nerd Disciple says, uh, did anyone notice EGAD control panel is an NES uh, joystick? It sure is, isn't it? That's funny. Good catch, uh, Nerd Disciple. Dell says, here's a question. Has there been a console besides the original NES that made you use a butter knife to make it? Why were you using a butter knife, Dell? What were you doing with your NES? I never used a butter knife on mine on it. I'm very confused. Can you explain that statement? What were you doing with the button? Is it because it got like it, it got stuck in the door to pop up? I can see you having to do that, maybe. All right, let's get out of here. Multiple ammo. Return the title screen. Map. Oh lord. All right, explore the hotel. Oh, okay, map. Oh my goodness, this is hurting my eyes already. <laughs> so much fun. I feel like Alice is about to come after me. She's about to shut down the whole system and there are about to be zombies everywhere. <laughs> All right. Oh, there we go. I got monies. Just kind of vacuuming things up here. Excuse me. Hello. What's here? There was a... Obviously, a gym in there that I need. How did I get those? Nope. Are you doing anything? Guess not. Got some tie boxes down here. Turns out Silk has having flashbacks to my brother Atari 2600. And, uh, and we used a butter knife because if we used my dad's screwdrivers, it got damaged. Uh, I'd go missing. Oof. Alright. Let's go. Oh, what? Where did that come from? I, that's a new ability. Hello. This is interesting. Yeah. Huzzah! I fixed it. Let's go. Whoa. I didn't know I could shoot plungers. It's a handy, uh, handy little thing there, guys. I can shoot a plunger. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Just apparently, I wasn't the only one. Many kids in my time told me that that the uh, when the cartridge. Oh, get this. Spider. Oh gosh. Uh, anyways, uh, when the cartridge didn't uh, work, to use a butter knife to remove it. That's interesting. I have not heard that. Alright, there is a way. There we go. Alright, got a crystal. That's cool. All right, let's go. Ah, spider. I don't like spiders. Dale, I need you to come fix these spiders, man. Call your peoples up. Wow. That's, that got wild. That got real wild. Okay, how 
How did I do the other Alright. Okay. It's a mind tree, guys. Okay, so we need to go in here. We have to add a um basically buttons. <laughs> Freak out, Luigi. It's okay, but just install it. I appreciate the mirror. This is kind of a cool feature. Having the mirror, like there's a couple times where like I couldn't see things without having to look at the mirror behind me. Basement level. It's the guy again. Hello, Luigi. It seems like the installation was a success. Now then, as uh to what to the as to what the device actually does, well, it extracts map data about the floors from the elevator. <laughs> Then it takes all the data and displays it on the monitor. Isn't that great? As, hey, what? Uh, why don't you take these elevator buttons you collected and insert them into the panel? Yeah, that's right. that works for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Well, that was quick. They just kind of fly into it. On their own? That's that's sus. Oh, yeah. That's real sus. Now you're able to view the map from of a new floor. <laughs> There's another surprise, Luigi. The device links with your virtual boo because I need to look into that uh, cataract uh, causing device. The map data is automatically sent to the VB and you can view the map anywhere, anytime. If you open the map from the VB menu, you can check out an even more detailed map. Don't go forgetting about it, okay? Let me break it down for you, Luigi. The map is super helpful for exploring new floors. While you explore the hotel, you should hunt down the elevator buttons. Those buttons will let you reach new floors, ripe for exploration. Oh, and you might find your friends there too. One more thing before you go, Luigi. We need to do a quick test of the VB's communication system. <coughs> Open it up. Select EGAD hotline. I'm counting on you, Luigi. Catch up on chat real quick. Cellcast goes. It's called blowing the dust out of the cartridge. Not the... the that was good for... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Dust is apparently Nintendo and other companies did a better job... Uh, with their uh with their systems later yeah they did they definitely did um but they had to uh because they can't afford the free customer support that they were offering originally <laughs> bell says is there a button on the control uh dedicated to calling uh for mario i don't remember what the button is so not yet mario is still captured that might happen later val but not right this second uh, Dale says, unless I'm Flynn from Tron, I don't think I can help you with the arachnophobia. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Oh, goodness. Pablo says, lurk. Lurk away, my dude. Appreciate you hanging out. Okay, so he wants me to do this. All right. EGAD hotline. I'm telling you guys, you cannot tell me the way that that map loads. It's not Dadgum Umbrella Incorp Incorporation. <laughs> this isn't helping. <laughs> testing, testing. One, two, three. This is the e guide residential genius. Resident genius. Am I coming through loud and clear? <laughs> Fantastic. It appears that the VB's communication system is working perfectly. That means you can use that this to connect me anytime you need to. If you feel the need to talk to me, just do exactly what you did for the test, Luigi. I may be able to offer something advice in a, in a tough situation. Oh, you can also check out the log using the very same system. Let me know if that's why you're calling and you'll be able to see your progress. Okay, testing my invention is fun, but we should get back to work. And speaking of work, I have a job for you. So you're able to take the elevator to the fifth floor now, right? Uh, I was actually staying in the room on the fifth floor. There's a briefcase in my room. Could you fetch it for me? Room number is... Oh, blast. 
What was it? Uh, you've got a map. You'll figure it out. Good luck, Luigi. Come back alive. Oof. Great. That's encouraging. All right, so we got to go to the fifth floor, guys. Uh, so, Casco, stick a bar knife into your console. Just sounds like a bad idea. Probably was. Val says, no, it's uh, not to call Mario in for help. It's literally a button for Luigi to call. Ow! Uh, actually, I think so. Oh, gosh. Mario. That's it. Mario. Mario. Oh. Mario. 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 <laughs> Found it. <laughs> Mario. Mario. Del says we were stupid in the eighties. That's fair. All right, so we go to the fifth floor. Let's go. <clears throat> Do we get some cool elevator music? Mario 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 Oh It's so spooky <laughs> Got a cowboy up, brother. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Luigi. It's time to cowboy up here. All right, let's check this thing out here. We got our map here. And uh, we're there. Uh, let's see here. I don't see any markers saying this dude was here. So that's fun. All right, so let's just start. Uh-oh. Hello? <laughs> Not sure why that struck me. Ah, Luigi. I just remembered something important I neglected to mention. The Poltergeist G00 is yours, of yours, has a, has a new feature uh, that I like to call Suction Shot. It, it works as a weapon for you uh, on your adventures. Press Y to fire a rubber plunger. Oh, so I wasn't supposed to know about that one just yet. I just stumbled upon it. That's what happened. Uh, and if you use the Poltergeist G00 to suck up, uh, the rope, uh, and press the A, you can tug at objects. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, it should start shooting at it at things right away. Practice me perfect. Oh, and don't forget to get my briefcase. All right. All right. Bye -bye. We'll, we'll do that. Let's see here. All right. I'm not going to lie. The controls are kind of wonky. All right. Oh. Oh, hey. Coins. And money. I think I missed the money. All right, so we got to go this way. Clearly, I got to just do this. Dale says, Luigi is the shaggy of the two brothers. I'm surprised Mario put up <laughs> for that. Like, what? They're brothers, man. You can't just throw out your brother like that. All right, and... You told me to do it. Oh, you want me to come over there? Hey, what's up, pup? I was trying to do that over there. I wasn't just like doing a bum. All right, let me get all this gold. All right, here we go. And come on. Just it depends on the brother, right? I mean, I get that. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, 
What's over here? That out. And just you know, back in the house up. Don't worry about it. You know, the game kind of sucks, but not in a bad way. <laughs> Let's see. Here. All right. Can I take out this? Again, the controls are kind of funky. And pull. What? Don't want to go out here. Oh my. Well, don't fall, dude. What are you doing, man? Pay attention to what you're doing. All right, let's go back inside. We don't need to do that right now. Yo. Got all the change. And that's it. Okay, let's go over here. And let's see what's up here, guys. Doo -doo -doo. That looks like a, a thing to shoot. You. Hello. Huh? Oh my. Seriously, the spiders are killing me here. I don't appreciate the spiders. You know why I don't appreciate the spiders? Val, are you still in the chat? I can tell you, Val, when I decided I didn't like spiders. Are you in the chat for me to tell you this story, Val? I want to see if you remember this. Uh, so, guess goes. Okay, time to play some more FF7 Rebirth. Do I do? Okay. Yes! That stupid movie in the fifth grade! That's why I don't like spiders, though. That's the reason why I don't like spiders. That stupid movie. We watched in the fifth grade in school for no good reason. Uh, taking all the money, guys. Don't mind me. You may remember that. Oh, my gosh. That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. What's in here? Oh, hello. Oh, there's Ruby. Okay, how do we get out there without Ruby? It's interesting. Is there anything else I can do? What are you? Let's see. Does that do anything? Nope. That does nothing. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Anything over here? Some gold. I got some gold. Where the gold at? Val says, and everybody thought I, it was me who got it canceled. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. That night was, that was a weird time, man. Oh, we got sorry. If you uh, get turned around, you can always uh, use the view. Okay, cool. I was here. Can I go out here? Anybody in here? Hello. Hello. Second things up here. House cleaning. Housekeeping. I bring fresh towels. Hello. Right here. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. Get over here. 
There we go. Dale says, uh, means arachophobia would be shorter movie if you. <laughs> I just burned the whole place down, man. That's what would have happened. All right, there's a hole here. Can I hit the floor? Hit the quad. Nope, can't. Yes. Whoa. All right. All right, let's get out of here. Don't they burn the whole place down in the movie? I don't remember, man. I really don't. Uh, maybe it's just about probably the spider. All right, let's see here. Uh, John, if it was my fault that that whole thing got shut down, and then you got blamed, I'm sorry, bro. I really am. That's, that's lame. You should have taken the blame for that. And if I at the time was being dumb and denied it was me, I apologize. I really don't remember how that situation worked out. Come on, dude. Retro, how you doing, buddy? Wow. This is, is this a game, uh, Luigi's for Select? Uh, well, the this is Luigi's Hunter Mansion 3. So, I mean, he's done this a couple times. Oh. Let's see her come down the hallway. Oh, whoa. Get the mouse. Get the mouse. All right. Let's see here. Now, according to the map, it looks like the dude is all the way at the end of the hallway. But we're going to go ahead and just clear each room because that's what you do. You clear rooms, guys. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Retro says, doing pretty good. Wish I could stay longer, but I'm going to have to jet pretty soon. That's cool, dude. Love you so much. Thanks for hanging out when you can. Val says, let's make a movie about a super deadly giant South American spider that ends up in a small town in USA and crossbreeds with super deadly spiders that murder the whole town and let's show it to fifth graders. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's that's genius. I think that's also the first time I watched Ace, uh, uh, Ace Ventura was in that same same event. <laughs> I was dealing with all kinds of self-esteem issues at the time. I didn't need that to add anything else to it. Alright, come on. Come on, come on. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh gosh! Oh god! Oh. No! No! Bad. This is what I'm talking about here. Oh, we're going to do all y'all. No, 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 no. I need more control here. Let's see here. Thus is the, they never said who shut it down. We watched half of it the first day. And then the second day it was just said someone's parent called and complained. So we didn't finish it. Uh, no one ever said who it was, uh, but a few of them accused me. It was uh, the fifth grade trivial issue. Nothing <laughs> to get upset about. Even if I, uh, even if then I didn't really care. I get that. Retro says, so does uh, busting make Luigi feel good? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, let's see here. Dale says fifth graders had fun. It was 
uh, their parents that didn't uh, uh, that did all the screaming. I don't know. Clearly, somebody's ki kid didn't do it. I know I didn't really enjoy it. All right, we got to kill this guy right here. See what I mean by like it's kind of awkward controls. There we go. All right, so let's get rid of this. Uh, could you get a move on Luigi? I need my briefcase. Look, hold your horses, man. I'm doing this how I need to do it. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, I think we cleared the room. We cleared the room. Oh, maybe not. Oh my. That was violent. Okay. Take that out. Yeah. Hey, there's a heart over there. I need this heart. Sweet. I needed that heart. Thank you. Let's uh, go in here. Oh, hey. You think this game was actually just propaganda to get kids to start, like, take part in cleaning their house and vacuuming? Is that what this game is? Hey, kids, if you vacuum your mom's house, you might found some treasure hanging around there. Doesn't that sound fun, boys and girls? I feel that's what this was. This is just... Cleaning propaganda. Wow. Oh my. Get over here. Turn on the water faucet. Get some coins. Get rid of that. Oh hey. Wow. Wow. I can't seem to get to that thing over there. If I can do this. Come on. Lower, lower, lower. I didn't do what I wanted wow. to do. Oh well, yeah. Let's get out of here. Let's escape, guys. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Rich says I'm not really, uh, not. I'm not really not much of a fan of the first one. Referring to, um. BJ2. Be oh, the Beetle. Oh, I missed a comment about Beetlejuice. Uh, but uh, Dell says, my wife's asking if anyone is interested in a becoming Beetlejuice movie. The juice is in the house. I'm actually am. Uh, I enjoyed the original Beetlejuice. Um, so I'm kind of Aww. excited about it. Um, again, I'm, a, I'm weird, guys. Like, I was kind of a closet goth kid as a young one. And in high school, in junior high, I kind of embraced it. But uh, I like that kind of stuff. Oh my. We got something, guys. I can see that. Come on, turn around. Oh, wait. Aha! Uh, Retro says, Luigi is uh, in the pockets of Big Vacuum. Yeah, that's right. Next on Retro. <laughs> this is the first episode, Retro, of your alternate universe, Retro Rewind Vacuums. That's what we're talking about here. Uh, Retro says, okay, take care, devoted geeks. Love you, Retro. Take it easy, buddy. Uh, Val says, I really like the cartoon back uh, in the day. The cartoon was lit. It has nothing to do with the movie. You're right. Uh, was uh, the hero... Not the villain, and it's uh, even though it was those are not uh, good terms for it. yeah, exactly. The cartoon was legitimately a great, great piece of work. Oh gosh, oh, 
You can't take on Luigi. I've gone to other universes and saved the princess, man. What you talking about, man? I've talked to giant, like, dinosaur-headed people. You got nothing on me. I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, the original cartoon, I think, was really, really mad. And what, can we talk about that for a second? I just, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ask. Can somebody please explain to me what was taking place in the 80s and the 90s with the cartoons that we took in? Who was on the board of decision that said, hey, we got these great movies. They're they're radar. They're not good for kids. They're not they're not good for kids at all. But I'll tell, you, tell you what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. All right, all right, you're gonna this. We're gonna take these car these movies aren't good for kids. And we're gonna make cartoons for the kids using the same properties. That's fantastic. Well we have this I, I got a movie about a mass murdering <laughs> of, like a mutant. Like this is all he does. He just mutant. He just kills people. It's amazing. It's the Toxic Avenger. It's got all kinds of stuff. Kids should not watch, but the cartoon. The cartoon can sell toys. Let's do that. Uh, what do you else got? You got a thing about giant tomatoes eating people? Let's make a cartoon about that. We got a cartoon, a movie about a robot cop that's like stabbing people in the neck and shooting the world up. Let's make a cartoon about it. This is gonna be fantastic. Make billions, and they did. Who decided this? Welcome to my TED Talk. I digress. <laughs> this is after Batman. I was more interested in seeing Keaton as the bad guy. I can see that. All right, let's keep going. I should have clipped that whole segment just now. All right, are you going to do something? Wow! Wow! Uh -huh. oh, I got open the Oh gosh! Mice! <laughs> got him! I'm trying to use the motion controls. They're really difficult. All right, and that's the thing. There are motion controls to this. Dale says, as I said earlier, they were we were stupid in the 80s. Yeah, we were something special was happening in the 80s. I'm not sure what it was. that yeah. oh there's money open the drawers money it's like Scrooge McDuck over here Val says, I think Hasbro was on the board of all those just to sell toys. That said, Pirates of the Dark Water, Skeleton Warriors, Monster Force, Bucket. All right, I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed 90% of those things, right? I mean, Pirates of the Dark Water, that was it's Skeleton Warriors, my dude. Somewhere. All right, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Johnson and me. Where are you? I know you're in here. Ugh. Somewhere in my this room, I have pogs. Some of you guys will remember pogs. And I have a Skeleton Warriors pog. 
There's a couple of them. Those were cool cartoons, man. Dale said dad was uh, talking, uh, taking their little men <laughs> to see Rambo. There was a Rambo cartoon. I forgot there was a Rambo cartoon. Good night. What are we doing here? Dale says people were drinking uh, the Avion water back then. Uh, spell it backwards. You get naive. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, Dale. All right, let's go through here. Oh, okay. Oh, Get all the money. Why do we need this money? I don't know. They told me to get the money. All right, we got we got everything on here. Let's go. Uh, Celeste, heading back. Yay, my baby love is on her way back to me. Uh, hello. Hello. All right, let's keep going. All right. We got one more room. Huh? Let's go in here first. Uh, Val says, uh, I had some of the figures for almost all of them. Skeleton Warriors, Pirates of Dark Water, Bucky O'Hare, uh, Dick Tracy, and a few others. Uh, back when parents would say, here is one... One hero and one villain. It's all you need. Have fun. Yeah, that's 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 a legitimate thing that took place. I somewhere still have my uh, Violator, Sean, and uh, was it the Vindicator? Not a Vindicator. Who was the the one that looked like a knight, uh, but it was not Spawn. I never had Spawn. You had Spawn. I would borrow your Spawn to play Spawn. Oh, whoa. whoa. What is happening here? Oh, gosh, that was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Redeemer, that's what it was. Dell says, uh, remember Chuck Norris Karate Commandos? I don't remember that one, Dell. What was that one about? I mean, besides Chuck Norris, obviously. All right, come on. Open that up. Monies! All right, come on, come on. Let's see here. Monies again. All right, here we go. Wow. All right, here we go. All right, feel like I need to go in there somehow. Look, man, you gotta, you gotta chill out a little bit with that mess, okay? I'm working as fast as I can. I'll get to your room, man. I'll get to it. Oh my. Uh oh. Uh oh. McFarland Spawn Creator uh, still makes insane figures. Uh, they have partnered with so many companies that they make characters of their own. I've I've seen that, and I'm really impressed. Oh! Sorry. I had to take care of that but bad boy. All right, come on. Valindro. Secret room. Let's see here. Oh wait, I don't. I don't have this. I don't have this. Come on. Bah. Get out of the way. How's up? Get all the coins. Get all the coins. All the coins. And get the gym. 
Huzzah! We have a gym! Let's go, guys. Come on. Wow. Whoa. All right. Is there, wait, is there anything I do in here? Does that do anything? All right, guess not. Get out of here. Oh. Dale says, I, uh, I guess I was just, uh, Dale says, I guess I, it was a, it was like a p pilot that didn't make it to a series. Interesting. It was just old Chuck and some allies fighting bad guys like the, they were G.I. Joe's. So interesting. All right. Go back. Baby, go back. Oh. Right. Can I go out this window? Guess not. All right, we're at the dude's hotel. Wait, what is that? Oh. Got all that right there. I'll tell you what. Anything in there? Oh, we have hearts. We need those hearts. Let's see here. Uh, that would make sense, but that's not what we need to do. Uh, John says, or Valendra says, just so you know, the areas uh, on the map uh, that are dotted lines are secret areas. I, that's what I was kind of figuring out a little bit. Um, they advertise, they advise it uh, to help you figure out, figure that out. That's what I was trying to figure out. Um, let's go back. Let's let's not go back to this guy's room yet. Let's try to hit some of these secret areas real quick. Do do. Okay, let's we'll see. You. Let's go because it looks like there's a whole room I missed. And it's probably because. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go out this window. Doug goes, I was aware of it, but never saw it. I wasn't a big Chuck Norris fan aside from Walker, Texas Ranger. The only movie I saw uh, him in was Sidekicks. My dude. That was that was a inspirational movie right there. <laughs> You got this, Luigi. You got this, man. No fear. No fear. Come on. Yes. Why do you keep saying no? Oh, gosh. Is that a golden rat? Oh, gosh. <laughs> He's so scared. Ah! Ah! Why are there so many spiders? Get off!
Oh no, we need you guys to go away. Nope, nope, go away. Uh. There we go, there we go. You guys just stay right there. I come to you. It's all good. No, no, really. It's all good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, here we go. Right, I need to get through there. That's what I need to get to. How do I get into that space? Ugh, Del says, oh, I read that. All right. Come back down here. Let's see here. It has to be something I'm missing for me to get into that space. But what is it? What is it that I am missing? There's gotta be something I'm missing here. Can I go over here? Nope, I can't. All right, let's come back this way. I wonder if I can, oh, I wonder if I can pull the vending machine out of the way. You guys think I pulled the vending machine out of the way? You think that's the key, the trick, the key, the secret to getting to the secret room? Let's find out. Can we do this? Oh, what? Oh, is there more this way? Oh boy, oh boy. Just keep going, dude, you're good, go. I'm so proud of you. Oh gosh. Whoa! Ooh, what am I supposed to do? Because there's no jump button. Alright. I feel robbed. Alright, obviously I gotta come back to this. Now you're thinking with portals or plungers. Exactly. <laughs> Oh my gosh. John, I hate that you missed the time frame when I was playing Portals. That was a good game. I may have to revisit that one. Here we go. Come to the panda. Let's go. Oh, oh gosh. It's a secret room. Boss fight. Cowboy, yeah. let's go. Ooh, oh, yeah. Got him. Oh, wait. Now I see how I get in there. Get rid of this guy right here. Can you please go away? Thank you. Appreciate it. Portal is really good. Oh, hey, another one. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Flex all that chain real quick. That was difficult. That was legitimately difficult. Let's see here. Val says, uh, when life gets gives you lemons, you make life uh, take those lemons back. You demand to speak to the life's manager. Nobody gives Cave Johnson lemons. I will make a combustible lemon at birth of life. What is happening? That's good. That's good. Del says, yeah, it was uh, fun watching you trying to think your way through that game. 
and the uh, and you said let's try two. Yeah, we got stuck on two. We did. We legitimately got stuck on two. I still enjoyed it though. Just vacuuming. Just uh, meeting my big vacuum quota. Open up. All right, a whole bunch of junk. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, sorry. it's all good. I feel like there's money up there, and there is. Just sucking all the money in. All right, let's see. Here. Come on. Get in there. Yeah. Let's go. I got the thing. I got the thing, guys. Got it. Val says, I think uh, there was... Oh, so I think that was from Portal 2, but I I forget. Could be the first. One of the recordings from the director that would play... Uh, I, I feel like I remember that, so I think it was from Portal 1. Oh, my gosh. E-Gad, you need to chill out, bro. I mean, it's just not that big of a deal, man. Oh. The phone's ringing. Hello? Can I answer the phone? Hello? Well, that was rude, laughing me. Uh, Cave Johnson was pulled too. Ah. I wonder, was it must have been the, in the early portions of it, because I remember hearing that. All right, let's see here. Looking at the map, the secret. Oh, wait, I'm missing it. Oh, I can't go back that way yet. I bet you it's from that room that I can't access yet. I just bet you that's what that is. Because there's not, there's not access from that room. There's a hole. And I can't get through this. So let's go to this dude's room. Those, you do you chase ghosts? <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Up here. Oh. Oh. Nope. Boss fight. Hello, madam. Nope. Huh? Please don't touch that suitcase. That's not yours. Um, dude, flashlighter. Hello! Just... No! Oh, why did you eat the suitcase? That's... Flashlight her. What? What are you doing, dude? Like... You could have easily just, like, didn't get done with it. But no! You had to sit there. Like a dummy. All these things have to wait. Plain and simple. Why does he have so much money under his bed? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. What is this guy doing? Wow. Oh, wait, I, I could use an extra heart. We gotta figure out what this stuff is. I know what that is. I know what that is all day long. Val says, uh, those of you who volunteer to be injected with uh, uh, praying mantis DNA, I've got good news. Uh, <laughs> bad news. Bad news is, uh, we've, uh, we're postponing the test and definitely good news is we've got much better tests for you fighting an army of mantis men, uh, picking up a rifle and following the line, the yellow line. You'll <laughs> that's why this is burning it. He pays a lot to keep his, uh, fire stoked. <laughs> Yellow. He says yellow. 
Hey, Luigi. Sorry, I was busy and just got back to my desk. Did I miss anything important? What's the status of my briefcase? What? A ghost maid took off with it? That won't do. No. It, that, ha <laughs> that won't do at all. Don't just stand there. Go get her. Well, I'm trying, dude. I'm trying, okay? You got weird stuff in your room. Can you explain that? Music for Jim. Oh gosh. Okay, let's uh oh. Why are we wiping our butt with dollar bills here? Okay then. That was the thing that took place. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, oh my. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, let's go in that closet over there real quick. And then we'll figure everything else out. Oh, oh this is a balcony. Alright, alright, let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the moon. I like the moon! Lovely moon. It's uh, quite nice. Oh gosh! Come on. Come on. I had a feeling that was gonna happen too. Uh -huh. I have a crystal. It was COVID. Toilet paper cost more. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. You're not wrong about that. I mean, you're wrong, but you're not wrong. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm planting flowers. Okay. That works, I guess. Uh, Dell says, what number is on the briefcase? It holds, uh, it either holds an in increment of money or some baggage. <laughs> uh, not only does the, he burn money, but he flushes it too, right? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. All right, let's hear it. All right, we got to follow this lady. Clearly, she's got, got stuff we need. Oh, gosh! Um, you're not the ones we were looking for. We gotta do this again. Come on, Luigi. Got whip. Come on. We got this. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, yes. Oh, ciao. Let's go. We got this. All right. Let's go. What are you? That hurt. Anything important there? Nope. Well, that raises an interesting question. Oh, wait, what is that? What is that? What, what's this thing on the wall? Why is it glowing? What's my thing? Okay, nothing. Apparently it was nothing. Luigi, the ghost slinger, right? The Boo Brothers. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, so she went this way. I'm assuming she's in this room. Hello. Hey, how's it going? That's right, lady. I got you. I got you. No. No, ma'am. No. Yeah. 
Dang it. She went in there. All right, come on. Gotta go back. We gotta follow her. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All right. It's a good thing we cleared the room. Yellow. By the way, Luigi, there's a fun bit of trivia for you. Every time you go through a door, all of your progress up to that point is saved automatically. But it might not be if you move too quickly from door to door. Uh, the door to door, you get uh, get the idea? So, so I'd wait 10 seconds should be enough. So I got to be in each room by 10 seconds. All right, we can make that happen. Keep up the good work. All right, on my way, dude. Let's go. Who's afraid of no ghost? Not Luigi. No, he is. He's scared. He's very scared. Ah! Luigi's... Ah! Ah, gotcha. Got her. No, stop. Why is it sword? No! Oh, God. Oh. Got her. Oh. She ran away. Wait, did she go in there? Hello. She did run in here, but she's not in here. Dag, nab it. Come on. We're going to get her, guys. Come on. Let's go find her. Come on, Luigi. You got to make this work, man. Come on. There you go. Pick up the pace. This uh, is for your brother. You got to save your brother, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Down you go, lady. Ugh. Get a little heart point. Get a coin. Oh. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Ho oh, ho. Nice. Let's go. Hello. Whoa. Oh hey. Got it. Now we go third yeah. floor. Now said uh, I had recently oh, yeah. McDonald's in the. Uh, I heard recently McDonald's in the near future will be selling Krispy Kreme donuts. I wonder how long it would be before uh, they offer McCrispy. All right, so here's my my theory about that, Dale. Uh, McDonald's has opened up a new uh, company called Cosmics, and it's kind of like the competition for um, Starbucks. I think this is a beta test to see how the company works together, and they're going to put that in the Cosmics. I think that's what's going to happen. Hey, it seems that you've uh, acquired a new elevator button along with my briefcase. Well done, Luigi. Come back to the lab. Bet. Let's go. All right. Keep going. Run, dude. Run. Run, Luigi. Run. All right. Here we go. Ding dong. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Ha-ha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Number three. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, about to say, I agree, Dal. Besides, Krispy Kreme is not that uh, crispy. It oh, would yeah. be a terrible pun. <laughs> all right. So. All right. So, real real talk there, Val. Speaking of a bun. Um. There is a baseball field that I heard about. I don't know where it's at. I just had a friend of mine tell me about it. And they sell burgers, but the bun is a donut. I'm not really sure what kind of donut it is, but it's a fascinating fact. And it makes me curious, go, is this, is this good? I mean, you're selling it well. Like it's a known thing that people do, but I just never heard of that. Hey, my wife's home. Hey, babe. Uh, burger donuts. Oh yeah. Do you remember what Basil Field was that did that? Um, well, it's named after Wrigley. Named after Wrigley? Maybe. Wrigley Field. I don't know. Somebody fact check that for me. You good? Cool. So I'm gonna be on for a few more minutes. So I got started, started a little late. So I'm gonna try to get down at least to the basement and uh, meet up with this dude. All right. All right. I love you. Bye. 
All right, let's see here. So we're going to the third floor. But before you head there, bring my briefcase back to the lab. I need it. All right, bye. All right, we'll do that. Go back to the, the basement. Val says, yeah, that's something that is uh, at a few places. I've seen it on some food shows. But is it good? It's like I've been, I've been, tr I've been curious about trying peanut butter on a burger. You know, Sonic had it. And people talk about it. Uh, I've heard, I've, I've had friends on countries who think it's weird that we eat peanut butter with sweet things like, uh, jelly. But I'm curious. I am genuinely curious about it. Val says, I am fat enough. I do not need that. <laughs> I am not super fan of the idea. I'll just take a, a good juicy burger without the sugar rice. You know, I'm with you, man. I really am. Um, but there's a part of you that goes, but is it good? <laughs> Luigi's elevator action. <laughs> all right, all right. Come back to the lab. Come on, dude. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back, Luigi. My briefcase. Chop, chop. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Whoa. All right. Uh, this is what I wanted. The time has come to use it in battle. I'm too old to uh, be out catching ghosts if my... Uh, by myself rather than give up on my ghostly pursuits i thought i'd create a helper to make take my place oh. <laughs> the latest invention from the brilliant mind of professor god i give you gooby oh. the development process was a real challenge to say the least fortunately i had a real a little help from someone to test the prototype. Hmm? How is uh, this going to help now? Take it easy. Uh, here, Luigi is going to attach this to the Poltergeist G00. Turn around for me, would you? Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's all set up, Luigi. Let's practice a bit. Follow me outside. All right, let's go outside. Val says uh, peanut butter burgers are common. Oh. There is a place here that is done, uh, that was done a PB and J burger. Uh, oh, oh my gosh! All right, cutscenes. Uh, same thing you do with donuts. I do not want jelly on my burger. I don't want jelly on my burger either. All right, let's see here. All right, I caught you in my trap, Luigi. Oh, don't worry, I'm just kidding. But a, I am going to need you to stay locked up. Why you ask? Because I want you to use Googie. Just try and escape from your cell. Activate Googie. Press R. Uh, to recall him to his tank, press R twice. Oh, oh that's creepy. Ta-da! Behold, this is your very own personal assistant, Googie. Uh, Gooey, go, oh, Gooigi. It's Gooigi. Gooigi. I see what's happening here. I uh, can slip through tight spaces in great events. His body is incredibly soft and malleable, and it's very and it's quite uh, amazing. Go on for so. All right, before I do this, John, I got a question for you, bro. Pedestrian, what's going on, my friend? John, I got a question for you. Uh, <laughs> you're just typing uh, it out to you. Uh, Dell says, "Be funny uh, if that was uh, Venom <laughs> changed Luigi to a Bailey character. That would be funny." Uh, all right, so I recall a a burger joint. I think in Willard, if not somewhere in that region, called Wimpy's, as in Wimpy's Burgers. Help me out here. Is this a fever dream memory? Like I've just implanted something here? And if not, is it still there? Yep, it is. Huzzah! It's still a thing. Or it was a thing. Is it still a thing? I remember it being good. I just don't know if it's still good. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Right. Oh, that's gross. There you go. Uh, he moves in basically the same way as you do, so controlling him shouldn't make uh, shouldn't make uh, take much time. Oh, that reminds me. Press R once uh, while, Gu while Guigi is active. We'll let you switch between him and yourself. Remember that. So what's the point of him, besides the fact that he can crawl through walls? Oh gosh. Uh, 
isn't even remotely waterproof, Lu Luigi. If he gets wet at all, he'll melt and disappear. Be careful. Gotcha. Noted. All right, so no water. All right, stay away from the water. That is so gross. Uh, it's not anymore. Oh, that's sad. Things I remember. All right, let's see here. Oh. Okay, the water thing. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't know if it was water. The Dutchman says, WonderCon is a weekend. Uh, is this weekend, and Geek Guys for God is hand, handing out bottles of water, my dude, outside on Saturday and doing a miniature giveaway at our booth all weekend. Please pray for it. Dude, let's go. Lord, I pray for my friends over at Geeky Guys for uh, God, and I pray, Lord, that, Lord, thank you for this awesome outreach they're doing, God. They're just loving on people, passing out water. And uh, I pray, Lord, to just continue to open doors for them. Lord, give them opportunities to speak to people and love on them and show them grace. And, and let them know they're loved and they're cared for. And there's a plan to purpose their lives. Amen. My dude, how's it going, man? How's how's life going, bro? Oh. Okay. I can all, I got to have it once. Try All right, come back around. We're gonna make this happen. <laughs> He's got little footprints going around him. That's funny. Huzzah! We got it! Huzzah! I feel like uh, I can let you run loose with uh, Luigi. Alright, we're done with the training, at least for now. Let's get back to the lab. Luigi, be fun to play around with some folks. <laughs> He's like Flubber, that's what he is. Uh, pedestrian, uh, been so busy getting ready for more. I can imagine, dude. I can definitely imagine. Uh, Egad says, nice work, Luigi. Very impressed. I must say that reminds me of something I want to tell you. Uh, I've been running a sensors in the lab, and we've detected the presence of a mysterious building. In fact, the ominous-looking tower is very close. I know you're going to find all your missing friends, but if you want to break from that, you could head over to the tower. It's probably crawling with ghosts. That you can catch. Go on and test your skills there for science. I've made arrangements so that you can access the tower from the lab. Just like scare scraper in multiplayer. Have fun. Lou and ooh. <laughs> <I> knew. <laughs> Damn. Oh man. So how many people got going with you guys, pedestrian? You got to go, oh, wait, I just remembered something else. You can check out Scream Park if you're feeling a little bit lonely and want to have some fun. <laughs> Up to eight people can play and complete with uh, with one another. Fun. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, you can get to a new floor now. Head to the elevator and take to, to elevate for level three. Explore the hotel. Let's go. Nope, can't go through that. But can he go through this? Wait a minute. Hold on, please. Oh, come on. Okay, hang on here. Excuse me. I think I have an idea. I have an idea. Alright, can you cut cut this? Let's go, dude. Come on. I'm thinking. How's that? I don't know what all this point it does for me. I feel like there's a power I'm missing. Because clearly there's something missing here. Hi guys. I'll just go ahead and uh How do I save the game? That's a question to ask. Oh it automatically saves when I go to the rooms. That's so gross. That is so gross, guys. <laughs> Alright. 
All right, guys. Well, that's it for the evening. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Apologize for not being with you guys yesterday. Again, we had a family emergency we had to take care of, but everything's good. Um, so, uh, but I love you guys, and I really do appreciate you guys being patient with us and, and hanging out with us. And um, just as much as we're praying for a pedestrian, who uh, he says uh, we have a bunch of people this time, San Diego ch uh, chapter in Orange County. Nice. Let's do it, man. Um, but Celeste and I, we have GeekCon coming up. So you'll be praying into that. We're trying to make some plans, some some stuff to make happen for that. Um, you know, it's, th these are outreaches. What Geek Guys for God are doing, what we're doing, these are opportunities to love on people, to show them that somebody cares about them and that Jesus cares. So just be praying into all these things for, for all our ministries because the, the con season is upon us. <laughs> so, but uh, for those guys, I love you guys so much. appreciate you hanging out. Until next time, stay devoted.